Like a boss. All right, ladies, this is Alex, your toxic dating coach. So today we're going to be talking about five things that men really value in a woman. Yesterday we talked about the things they don't value in a woman that you guys think they value, but they really don't. This one is about what they value in a woman. These are five things, and, and this is pretty much universal. For the most part, it's universal. Now, there's going to be some differences based on culture, all right, and based on based on personal personal values okay so but for the most part these five things go pretty well with, with most men okay um and if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching go to mindfulattraction.org people support father alex yeah that's right you could have one-on-one -on -one coaching with me or you guys could ask me questions via email and i'll make a video about it and it's a lot cheaper and you guys can keep yourself anonymous okay you see how, how i answer people's questions on video so the first one is this, okay, is masculinity. I always say this, ladies, it's important for you to embrace your masculine side. Ladies, stop trying to be fucking feminine all the fucking time. That, 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 that's not what guys want. Well, guys find that a little boring. Guys want a little masculinity in a woman, a little bit of assertiveness. Maybe you're somebody who's not masculine, super feminine, but there are times when it's required to bring out your bitch, and that's your most attractive side. It may not come out all the time, but when it comes out, it reminds them that you're not somebody to be fucked with, right? Your masculinity, I made a video about it. I think just put my name, Mindful Attraction, Masculinity. But for the most part, it's all about getting in touch with your aggressive energy, right? Anytime somebody tries to play you, anytime somebody that you send somebody playing you, lining you, you got to learn how to confront people, right? Or it could be that you have interests that are masculine. Or it could be that you like some of the fashions that guys have. Embrace a fa uh, embrace a little bit of masculinity in the way that you dress. A little bit of masculinity in the way that you move, the way that you talk, right? Depending on the context. The point is, is that every man has repressed homosexual desire. That's why guys like a woman who not only is feminine, but could change the tire. There's a reason why. It's because that masculinity is attractive to them. The second one is this, they, um, men value a woman who hasn't been with a lot of guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is when lying comes into place. Because we all know it's very easy to rack up numbers, especially nowadays. By mistake, you could fuck 20 guys in one year by mistake. I swear to God, by mistake. By mistake, that could fucking happen. I know that. Don't, don't lie to me, ladies, all right? Stop being like, ah, ah, that's not me. Shut the fuck up, okay? You know, you got them well, that's you, okay? It happens. It's okay. We're sexual creatures. We're humans. Stop being ashamed of your sexuality. It doesn't make you any better than the next woman. But the point is, is that guys value that. So it's better you shut the fuck up. Don't tell them you banged the whole goddamn football team. Don't tell them about Tyrone, the, 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 the fucking quarterback. Don't tell them about Marshall. Don't tell them about Ty. Keep that shit to yourself, okay? Why? Because guys don't want to know about that. Look, I went out with, with I've been with, I've been out with escorts and with strippers before, okay? And when they tell me that they're escorts, like I'll act like I don't mind. I'm like, yeah, sure, I don't mind. Of course, I kind of don't mind, but in my mind, I'm like, I am never making this girl my girlfriend, right? I won't tell her that, right? But I'll never make her my girlfriend. I will judge you subtly when it comes to my relationships. I will judge you based on that. So, ladies, keep that shit to yourself. Okay, stop it with this fucking honesty. This is not Disney, all right? They're, 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 uh, we're not the Pope, and you confess to us. Keep that shit to yourself. Sorry, <laughs> he's getting violent, people. <laughs> nah. All right, the third one. They value healthy women. Look, ladies, I'm sorry. You gotta, you, you gotta focus on your health. Okay, eat right. Okay, if you guys want a good diet, and that's the truth. I'm sorry, I'm on a diet too, cause you gotta, I gotta eat good. I got to eat good for my body. It's, you got to be healthy. It's actually good for you in general. But Google the slow carb diet by Tim Ferriss. Slow carb diet by Tim Ferriss, right? It is the best diet you can have. It's healthy. It's good food. You feel healthy. All I eat is meat and vegetables, and once a week I eat shitty. But that's pretty much my diet. Slow carb diet by Tim Ferriss. And why is that? Because, look, ladies, I'm sorry. The, 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 the more in shape you are, the more attractive you're going to be to guys. And that's the truth. And a guy might tell you he don't mind, but at the end of the day, they do mind. 
And if you struggle with, with your weight, I am telling you, ladies, check out the slow carb diet. It, it, it is the easiest way to get in shape. I swear to God. Go Google that. Do your own research and tell me what happens. Man, my nose is stuffy, man. Follow Alex has allergies today, people. And no, I don't have corona. Sorry. I just went to America. And in order to go to America, I got to get a negative test in corona. So I don't have the corona, people. All right, so now I'm trying to sneeze. I'm trying to sneeze and I can't sneeze. It's crazy. The third thing, the fourth thing is, now you guys might find this, you guys were like, of course you would say that. But look, it's the truth. Men value submissive women. Now, you may, not, you, may, you may not be submissive, but play like you're submissive, when in reality, you're the one who's going to be controlling it, right? It's always important to play, to act, to, to, to faint weakness in order to lower a, guard, a guy's defenses. So you can be submissive about little things here and there, right? But when it comes to the important things, you're not submissive. But at the end of the day, guys value submissive women. They don't value Terminator ass women who, who fucking walk around and like who, who try to tell them what to do and stuff like that. Guys value submissive women. And if you don't believe that, go go ahead and ask guys what they value. You of course and then you're gonna say, but of course they'll say that. You know, they want a woman who they can control. That uh, we're talking about what guys value. We're not talking about what 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 is right or wrong here, okay? We're talking about what guys value. If you, if you want to talk about what guys, what, what's right or wrong, go ahead and go to Matthew Hussey, right? Go get yourself a husband with Matthew Hussey. Go, go, go with Mark Rosenfeld and, and get yourself a husband right there, okay? Because if you're asking me what guys value, I'm telling you what guys value. They, guy, they like submissive women. That, that's the truth. And last thing, they value a woman who's there for them during tough times. When a woman is there for you during the tough times, they're going to value you. They're, 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 they, they just will. Now, what does tough time mean? It could be anything. It could be, some, it could be tough um, financial times, which is that's fucking difficult, right? It could be that you catch him during a time when he isn't, he's not healthy physically, right? Maybe his leg broke or maybe he got a diagnosis and he has to make sure everything's good. Maybe somebody dies in his family. The point is, if, you, if you're there for him during those tough times, he's going to value you. He's going to remind him of his mother. He's going to have that, re that regressive. And, I've, and I've, had, I've had a few women who were there for me during the tough times, and I'll always value them for that. And, and, and that actually becomes a reason why I should stay with them. That actually, that, that actually makes me, when I'm considering... Sorry, the audio cut off. So what I'm saying is that when I'm considering between her and another woman who likes me, who who might be younger, if you were with me during the tough times, that's going to be a bonus as to why I'll pick you over her. Okay? Because history goes a long way. When you're with somebody, when they were when they were really down, maybe somebody died in their family. Maybe your grandma, maybe my grandma choked on a goddamn pork chop, fell from the stairs. I don't give a fuck. And you're there for me, or maybe I go through a through a um, through a health crisis, and you're there for me, or you're there for me when something scary happens, and you come and you come for me. That's gonna be something that I'll consider. And so, so being there for him during tough times, without expecting anything in return, men value that. The problem is, is that sometimes you guys can take that too far and just think with guys we're not good for you. And that's the problem is that when men value sometimes goes against your goes against your your interest you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like you guys got to find the right guy that values the right thing I'm, i was going out with this girl who wanted to fucking peg me like bitch you must be out of your fucking mind father adams did not get pegged okay then just, just put it that way father adams did not got them get pegged okay that's not gonna happen all right so it's kind of like some people value certain things and you got to go towards people who value what you fucking have okay and so this is a general thing but at the end of the day, everyone is an individual. Some guys will only value you if you're completely submissive to them. And those kind of guys are toxic. Are you saying that you're that, Alexis? Of course not. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not that kind of person. Ladies and gentlemen, I am, I am a good, a good, oops, sorry. 
I am a good, I'm a good person. I will never do that, people. <laughs> I will never do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching, you guys know exactly where to go. Follow me downstairs. I mean, in the, in the description down below, you guys can get coaching. Email coaching if you want to keep it anonymous and it's more affordable. I'll make a video based on those. I'll make video responses, right? Just keep it anonymous. Or one-on-one -on -one coaching in the description down below. Stay talk to people. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on Patreon. That's right. When YouTube closes this channel, which it will one day, I can promise you that, we will have all of our content on Patreon. So here is your chance to sign up and to become Patreon members. And you'll get a bunch of benefits. You'll get new videos, um, Patreon exclusive videos. So this is what we have. We have a few different tiers. We have the freeloaders, no mo. all right? So if you're a freeloader, which is nothing wrong with the freeloaders, we love our freeloaders, but you could just become a $1 donator and not be a freeloader and get my underlying gratitude, ladies and gentlemen. After that, you can become a, the Purposeful Gang. That's right, the Purposeful Gang. And in that, you get access to all of the videos that we have on a weekly basis. We make live streams, we get questions, and we post them on a weekly basis. And it's for men and women. We have different videos. We have a section for men and a section for women. And then we have the Mindful Gang, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, the Mindful Gang. And in that, not only do you get my gratitude, not only do you get the weekly video, but you get the credit that we put on each of one of my videos you you will be um, named and accredited on each one of my videos for, if you become a ten dollar donator and we have a few of them already and after that we have the like a boss one that's right like a boss and in that not only do you get my underlying gratitude access to all the videos which is like two or three videos per week um i'll put your name on the credit and then you get to ask a question people that's right you get to ask a question and now answer it in the form of a video it's easy. We all know that my coaching is not as cheap. So in that, you get a chance to speak with me at an affordable price. And not only that, I get to pray for you, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. I'll pray for you. All right. So not only do you get the, the chance to ask a question, you get a prayer from daddy. From, I mean, you get a prayer from the Lexus people. And after that, you got the mindful master. And in this, not only do you get prayer, not only do you get the videos, not only do you get credits, not only do you get the question, but you get a drawing by your by your favorite, and that's right, your favorite, right? Your favorite YouTuber, and I'll send it to you straight to your house, ladies and gentlemen. You get a nice little twenty minute drawing straight from me, and I'll send it to your house. Isn't that great? No other YouTuber is doing that, to be honest with you, and I'm the only one who's doing that. So if you want to do that, become a member of the Patreon group, as you can see. We posted it, we just posted it yesterday, and we shall be posting new videos tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope to see you guys inside, and you guys have a good day. Peace out, people.